to a new Nintendo Master video. So this is the second part of my dual booting uh, Windows 2000 with Windows Vista. Let me brighten up the screen a bit. I could barely read it myself. So what we're going to do is, we're going to boot from the floppy drive. put this down the floppy drive. It's not going to be a live version, it's going to be a full version of Windows Vista Home Basic. In theory, it should boot from the USB drive. There we go. There we go. We've got a working mouse. Beat that Windows 2000. Right, so at the parts when anything is happening, I'll cut the video. So I want to install now. Activate it later. Right. And I'm going to select my version. It's the Home Basic. Accept license terms. Custom. and the non-allocated space. So now it's going to copy the files, expand them, etc, etc. I'm back when all this stuff is done. As you can see, the ASL logo is back. It's uh, on for its first reboot. Here, here's I can boot Windows 2000, here's Microsoft Windows Vista. I'm going to select Vista, of course, because I have to finish set up took the USB stick out. I'm gonna put it back in because I need it before I activate Windows. I'm gonna patch it all the way up to Service Pack 2. It won't allow service packs when I activate it my way. First we have to finish setup of course. Right, it's preparing for first time startup. Great. Right, there we go. It's finishing installation. Alright, so this is the actual first boot of Windows Vista on the Astro Spire 3000. I mean, it finished setup, so. But it's still not doing much. Right, so we're finally at the part where I can put in my name. What a crap it. Alright. I robot. Alright. Computer name, generic Aurora background. Not oh, this one is way better. Don't want to set up that shit now. Yay! I'm ready to start Windows Vista. 
Home Basic. I don't need Premium because I don't have Arrow. Home Basic is good enough. Right, so now we've got the sequence where it's going to measure system performance. That can't be good. <laughs> I think Windows Vista will give me a uh, nice 1.0 as well. For the gaming graphics. But hey, it's a DirectX 8.1 video card, so... That's very normal. Alright, now it's preparing the desktop. And there we are. So we've got Windows Vista running. And the Windows Vista welcome screen. Because it's a full blown version of Vista. What did I tell ya? 1.0 is the score. Scores are 3.4 for the processor, 3.6 for the RAM, 1.9 for Arrow, 1.0 gaming, 4.2 on the disk. Right. That's not too bad, to be honest. I can live with that. Shame Arrow in 3.0. If it was 3.0, I would have Arrow. Recognize my Bluetooth device, which is connected. What I am going to do is close this fucker. I don't want a sidebar. All it does is eat memory. Right. That was all I wanted to show you for Windows Vista installation. And tune in for my next part showing the performance in Windows 2000.